So welcome back friends, it's Thursday, May 17th, about 8 in the morning, and the Wrangler Star family, we are on the road to a great adventure that I'm going to share with you. Before, But before uh, that, I want to tell you, I got some really, uh, some really bad news yesterday. Uh, we were in um, stopping at a hotel on a Passover, and, uh, or a, stop, a stopover, and I was going through my YouTube channel subscriptions, and one of the channels that I follow is uh, Jim at the Tradesman Channel. And uh, if you don't know Jim, he's a, he, he's a great guy. He's one of us. Uh, he's um, uh, made the decision to uh, simplify his life and, and to get out and, and to start his own homestead. And he's taken on what's probably one of the most ambitious projects on YouTube. Uh, he's doing a big timber frame barn, traditionally, uh, all by himself in adverse conditions. I mean, I'm, the whole thing. Uh, the bandsaw mill uh, doing his own stuff. He is a man's man. He's, he's quite... It's quite impressive what he's been doing and being able to do this in the elements by himself. Well, he's, when I looked at his video, uh, obviously there's a picture, it looks like he's in a hospital bed. Um, so I clicked on the video and sure enough, what happened was he was, you know, standing the bench, he's, you know, standing the frame up and something slipped out or something kicked out and knocked him through the hole in the floor that was cut for the stairs and he destroyed his ankle. If you watch the video, you still see he turns the camera and he's got pins going through his ankle and it's it's really bad it's, I mean it's I, I've enjoyed watching his channel and I've enjoyed watching his progress and I have been actually inspired by his dogged determination because uh, boy the man's got it in spades and now he finds himself in a situation that he hadn't hadn't planned <clears throat> I'm not asking for anything for Jim Jim's not asking for anything this is not about that um, it's just that um, as I was after I got done watching that video, I was thinking, man, every one of us as men and um, um, heads of our households or providers, you know, some of you like myself are sole providers for our family, are one accident, one car car accident, one one diagnosis away from a situation like that or even worse. I mean, we don't plan for these things. I mean, we. We we just kind of we become complacent and we think well I'm I've woke I woke I've always woken up and been able to lace my boots on and, and go to work and to do the things that I need to do, and we don't often give a lot of thought towards well what if I'm not able to do that you know what then, so um, you know we are we are a, a very like-minded community here I, I've always said I have some of the best people in the world are subscribers to this channel and it means the world to me. Um, and so what I ask you to do is just go over to Jim and give him encouragement. Um, because I know that, you know, I, I know what type of a guy he is. I mean, we have a lot of things in common. And, and to have to be sitting there in that hospital bed being, you know, a vigorous, industrial, industrious man and, and everything coming together at one time and, you know, being responsible, providing for your family and then completely out of it for, for a long time. I mean, when you're talking about multiple ankle fractures, now, that's not something that you shake off. That's something that's going to last a long time. So what I ask you to do, go over to his channel. I'll put a link right there and give him encouragement um, because we are a community um, and it does matter. It, you know, the, the funny thing about <clears throat> my experience with community, when Mrs. W and I first got uh, married, we, we were both living in the city, close in, inner city you know, of Portland, uh, Oregon. And we bought a house there in Northeast Portland. And we were, it was one of those subdivisions, you know, or not subdivisions, I guess it was a little, whatever you want to call it, where the houses are really close by. I remember a funny story. We had this, this uh, delightful elderly woman that was just delightful that lived next to us. And the houses were so close. I bet the houses, was prob the houses were probably 10 feet apart. And the, the window, our kitchen window was, was right up against her kitchen window. And I remember one time we'd put a shower downstairs and I'd come out of the... <laughs> <laughs> I'd come out of the shower, you know, with my towel <laughs> drying off, and uh, because someone else was using the other, you know, the upstairs shower, uh, I remember her looking up and smiling, <laughs> smiling <laughs> and waving at me. But um, she, <clears throat> the point is, is we had all these neighbors, and um, apart from her, not once was I in any of their houses. We would invite uh, our neighbors all around. We would say, hey, look, why don't we have a Oh, we'll we'll host um, a barbecue or we'll have you guys over for dinner. M most of the time, we never got a response back. 
Um, and we lived there for, I don't know, maybe a year or so. And I don't know any of their names. Um, they didn't seem to have any interest in, in getting to know one another. Everyone was completely crammed together in this tight little area, uh, but they were completely isolated. And it was really sad. After a while, you know, we're like, well, it's, you know, no, we're not offended, but it's, uh, you know, it's just not their thing. Uh, I find that funny. And so the, the, to contrast that, when we moved out to our homestead where we're at now, uh, our closest neighbors are, I mean, it's far. It's like miles, <laughs> a mile, mile and a half or so over to um, uh, the real Martian's place. But we, we are so close to all of our neighbors. We're close to the, um, and we have Brian and, 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 and Laura, and we have um, uh, Jeff and his family, and we have uh, lots of others that you haven't met. Uh, we're in each other's homes all the time. We invite them over, they invite us, uh, we stay in contact with them, we know what's going on, we know if they're sick, we know if they need firewood, we know if, if their ball joints are, are out on their truck, you know, we help one another out, um, and we're actually really close, even though we're really far and spread apart. And I, I, I've wondered why that is, why was it when we lived in the city that our neighbors, we didn't even know who they were, but here we are out in the middle of nowhere, um, and we know our neighbors so intimately. And I think, I guess what it comes down to is, I think we all know, and I don't believe this is the motivating factor 100%, but we all know that we may need to rely upon one another. Uh, in the city, there's, you can make a phone call, someone's going to be there and solve your problems. Where we live, it's, it's not. Uh, we could be without power for over a week or two weeks. We could um, be completely isolated because of a natural disaster or storm, or we could have a major medical emergency uh, that we... Our, our neighbors could make a difference or intervene or or who knows what a million security issues like that so we all know that we would we, we may there may come a day that we need to rely upon one another and and I, I think that, that that's why it's everyone knows inherently uh, that it's important to have those relationships and to have those um, established um, for that for the mutual benefit of the community uh, it seems to me, and, uh, 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 and and that's just a side point. The other part is we like one another, you know, that's that's important too. So what is the point? What's the point of you going over and clicking on and supporting Jim's channel um, if you haven't watched him or don't know him? Well, um, for the very same reason, I think that um, uh, give the guy some encouragement. How depressing, how, how lonely must that be? And, and we can only imagine what's going through Jim's head. Um, being stoved up and not being able to do this. And I don't know their financial situation. I don't know uh, if they have made um, <clears throat> accommodations for something like this to happen. Many of us have it. You know, many people have it. You just automatically assume that you're going to be able to get up and to enjoy that strong body that you have and, and to be able to do the things you want to do. So to me, it's, uh, I mean, I, it, it's a, it's a wake-up call. Thank God that you, every single day, the day that you have with your family, the day that you have to, to go and you can work and, and to do the things that you need to do, um, they're not automatic. Um, they are a gift, each and every one of them, and it's it's easy to, easy to lose sight of that. So I'm sorry, Jim. I'm sorry this happened to you. This is a, a real bummer. I'm glad that you're, it wasn't worse. Um, but to go over to Jim's channel, show him some support. We are a community here. We are like-minded. We are Americans. And we are an extended family, even though we haven't met. So, see you guys in the next video.